Hello viewers, Mr. Nyati, your presenter here, I'm back with another video which is basically a continuation of uh, section B 2023 GCE Science Paper 1, which is basically physics. And uh, we're going straight to question um, B6. And uh, as I do so, may I suggest that you subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the like, but, uh, uh, hit the like on this video, share the video, leave a comment in the comment section and also that to uh, allow me to have some feedback on how this is helping you we move on to question b6 b6 says figure b6.1 shows a ray of light traveling from glass to air at an angle the refractive index of glass is 1.52 now we have a ray of light and then we have a semicircular glass block and then we have the normal here, the instant ray, and all those things. Define critical angle. Now, what is critical angle? Well, this is an angle of incidence that gives an angle of refraction equal to 90 degrees. Okay? You can also say that this is basically the angle of incidence, okay, of a ray of light traveling from uh, a less de a denser medium to a less dense medium okay and uh, also uh, for which the angle of incidence is uh, the, the angle of refraction is equal to 90 let me rephrase that statement this is the angle of incidence of a ray of light traveling from a denser medium to a less dense medium for which the angle of incidence is the angle of refraction is equal to 90 degrees okay so that is what we call the critical angle but to make sure that it fits here we're going to define it this way so that is what the critical angle basically is okay so it's a situation where you have the light the ray of light traveling from denser medium to a less dense medium and then the angle of incidence that is formed uh, making the angle of refraction to be equal to 90 degrees so to explain this diagrammatically you would have a situation like this okay let's say this is glass this is glass this is air and then this is your normal okay so you have a situation like this remember this is glass the ray of light is traveling like this there are arrows there now when it enters a different medium you know that when the medium is denser than where it is coming from the ray of light bends towards the normal but when the uh, the, the, the medium is less dense it bends away from the normal so it will be like this it will bend away from the normal when you increase okay when you further increase the size of the angle of, uh, the the angle of incidence you're going to have a situation like this i'm just going to draw this without the glass block just to make an, an, an illustration here it will bend in this way it will further bend away from the normal and the more you increase here the angle of incidence, you realize that eventually uh, it is going to be equal to 90 degrees or it will pass through the boundary itself. Okay, so remember this here from here, this is the angle of incidence. And then the angle of refraction is from the normal to here. To the angle to the ray to the incident the refracted ray and this would be the angle of refraction and this one is equal to 90 degrees so this angle here this angle in the denser medium which has caused the angle of refraction to be equal to 90 is what we call the critical angle okay and so when you are finding the critical angle remember the normal formula for refractive index is sine i over sine r. Now, in this case, it's like it has been reversed, okay? It's like it was, uh, under normal circumstances, you have 
the, 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 uh, the angle of incidence in the less dense medium because air is the one which is usually uh, assumed to be uh, less dense and these other media where light enters like glass, water, they are denser than air. So under normal circumstances, you find that it is from air into a denser medium. But in this case, you are having a ray of light coming from a denser medium. So instead of having the formula like this, you are going to have the formula like this. Instead of having sine i, you are going to have sine r over sine i. Now, we are saying that the critical angle is the angle of incidence. So here, this is where we're going to have the angle. So the critical angle is going to be, uh, this is R. Okay. Uh, we, are, we, are, we are continuing here. So from, from the pre previous uh, paper, saying that n is equal to sine r over sine i. So we are saying that the critical angle, because we want to find the formula for finding the critical angle. The critical angle is the angle of incidence. So which one is the angle of incidence here? This one here. So we will leave r here and say sine critical angle, since we are saying it's the, it's the angle of incidence. But remember that we know that we know that R angle of refraction is equal to 90 degrees. So here we are going to put 90 degrees. So we are going to say sine 90 degrees over sine C. Okay? Using a calculator, let's find what sine uh, sin 90 is. Sine 90 gives us one. So we're going to say, but we know that sine 90 degrees is equal to 1. So we replace there, we say the refractive index is equal to 1 over sine C. So to make sine C the subject of the formula, we're going to say sine C is equal to 1 over refractive index. This one becomes the formula for finding the critical angle. So let's move forward to the next question. We have calculated, uh, we have defined the critical angle. Now we move forward into calculating the critical angle. So uh, the question says calculate the critical angle. So we have this formula here that we have just derived for critical angle. So we're going to say, what data do we have? Well, uh, for B, at least we have this data. What data do we have? We have refractive index of uh, glass, which is 1.52. What else do we have? Well, uh, in the question, we have a... Refractive index, what else do we have? Sine R, which is basically 1. So what we want is sine C or C itself, which we don't know. So we use the formula that we derived, which is uh, sine critical angle is equal to 1 over the refractive index. So when we do the math, we're going to say uh, 1 over 1.5. Five two because we have it here, and if we continue with sine c here. We say sine c is equal to uh, when we do the math here. What what answer are we getting when we say one divided by one point five two? What are we getting? Well, we are getting this number, which is uh, zero point six five seven nine to four decimal places. Zero point six five seven nine okay but this is not the answer we want c not sign so we do the inverse of c which we are going to do this and then we say 0 0.6579 so our c critical angle will be uh, 
so just here we press shift if you have the other calculator which has second function you press second function then you press sign remember we already have the answer you put answer here the answer which is this one but it has more digits the actual so i advise that you do that you just press answer then you press equal sign which is going to give you 41.139 so to two decimal places it will be 41.14 we round off the nine to this so that it becomes four so the answer is 41.14 uh, degrees right yeah degrees I put it like that this one is the critical angle we move on to the next question the next question says state two conditions for total internal reflection to occur so now the total internal reflection from this diagram that we had done where we had let's say glass air and we said that this is our normal and then we have this one here being the incident ray. Remember, it's from uh, the denser medium. And then it forms like this. Okay? Now, when you increase this, okay? Let's say you decide to increase. This is a steel glass. And this is air. When you decide to increase the size of the incident ray what you are going to have now is let me just draw that one properly what you are going to have now is total internal reflection okay this is what is known as total internal reflection reflection or reflection occurring within the denser medium so this total internal reflection now for it to occur there are conditions that should be there Condition number one is that the angle of incidence, what you have noticed, this is, remember this is 90, and this is the angle of refraction, right? So, the angle of uh, incidence must be greater than the critical angle. The critical angle is the one which was causing this to be 90 degrees, but it must, this angle which is causing this to be 90 degrees, it must be greater so that you have total internal reflection. So, we are saying that the angle of incidence must be greater than the critical angle number one number two so this is our critical angle here so for this the total internal reflection to occur this one must be greater than this and this angle is the angle of incidence okay the other one is that the incident ray must move from denser to less denser medium like i was saying this is air this is glass so the incident ray must move from denser to less denser medium and then total internal reflection will occur, will occur having met this first condition that the, uh, the, inc the angle of incidence must be a uh, greater than the critical angle those are the two conditions so we write those two conditions here to say give two conditions for total internal reflection to occur so we are saying that condition number one so these are the answers. The first one, the first condition is that the angle of incidence must be greater than the critical angle. The second one is that the incident ray must move from denser to less dense medium. Then we move on to the last question, which is basically question uh, D. Give one application or use for total internal reflection. Well, choose from the ones that I'm going to uh, indicate here uh, one of them one of the uses of the of the total internal reflection it is used in optic fibers okay in optic fibers okay the other use is that it is used in periscopes those are the uses so we have one of the uses use give one uses or one application or use for the total internal reflection one is in optic fibers the other one in periscope so you choose which one uh, you think would suit your, your 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 curiosity in answering this question so this is how you answer this question and i hope this was helpful bye bye